I welcome you all for the introductory session on data mining. The outline of the presentation goes like this. The foremost is the motivation why data mining is required. Followed by the basic definition of data mining. Followed by the process involved in discovering knowledge from data. Then comes an analogy, a simple example in a real world to understand the process of data mining. Then comes the techniques of mining knowledge from data. Then conclusion. Coming to the motivation part of data mining. Earlier, people suffered a lot for collecting data. It was very difficult to get data. So people suggested various methods for collecting data, storing data and managing data where we had database management system that is DBMS but in today's scenario data is enormous so we have the situation like data rich but information poor so what will I do with these data unless otherwise one knows how to convert this raw data into useful information these huge data is of no use so that is where people started thinking about analytics next comes the definition of data mining it refers to extraction of knowledge from large amount of data so here you could see a person is seeing some processed information in the form of bar chart to gain some inference into the raw data so the term data mining is similar to gold mining which refers to mining of gold from rock or sand but it is not termed as rock mining or sand mining from where the gold is mined so actually the term data mining is a misnomer it should be actually knowledge mining from data there are some other terms related to data mining such as knowledge discovery, knowledge extraction, etc. Next, coming to the process involved in discovering knowledge. We have certain steps involved in getting the final knowledge from the raw data. The first is the database where we have the data stored. The next step is the pre-processing step where we do data cleaning. Here cleaning refers to removal of noise which exists in the data and removal of inconsistencies in the data. Once the data is clean, it moves to the next step of selection and transformation not all the data 
stored in the database is required for analytics. So we have to choose relevant data suitable for data analysis and the data has to be transformed in a format suitable for doing the analysis. So data transformation is required. Once transformation happened, the main part is mining knowledge from the data by using effective techniques and tools. Once data is mined, we get some patterns. Not all patterns are useful or interesting. So we have to evaluate the usefulness of the patterns and then present the patterns in a format so that the user at the other end can get some inference into the raw data that we call it as visualization so the data raw data is converted to a form that could be understood by the user so the knowledge discovery has happened so that is the last step of discovery process now coming to the knowledge part let us consider baking cake as an example of uh, data mining uh, steps now every one of you will be aware of this game that is present in everybody's system it's a purple place now consider this is the uh, cake that is required from the customer point so these are the components involved in preparing or baking cake so we call these as data and we have stored a, these data different data in the respective places so each one can be a database so this is the base vessel for preparing the cake this is the batter and this is the cream applied and this is the topping so each and every components or every component is stored in different places this can be considered as different databases or different data storage so database first thing is over the next part is data selection here pre-processing is not required because everything is clean and it is ready to use so here we can uh, neglect data cleaning stage that is pre-processing stage and let us proceed to the preparation okay now we have to select the data so here you have different kinds of models for baking the cake so we select this one okay then move to the next step here data transformation how do we get this batter so we have to mix maida 
then sugar egg in certain proportion to get this batter so the raw data such as maida sugar egg are transformed into a form suitable for baking cake so the next one is this one move to the next stage apply the cream here next stage presentation so the visualization part so finally it is delivered but in real case it is not that simple to do the mining part from the raw data so data will be huge and nobody knows what is expected out of the data so only the mining results will say some information about the raw data coming to the techniques part there are three major data mining techniques the first one is known as association rule mining let us consider an example of going to a supermarket and making a purchase of some items normally if you take the purchase details of several customers we could infer some useful information like bread butter jam It means that when a person buys bread there is more chance for buying butter and jam so that these three components or products can be placed closer so that it can increase the moment of the product thereby increasing the profit of the supermarket similar to this bread butter jam we can also say chili powder and dhania powder which can be purchased in combination that is called as association here bread is associated with butter and jam similarly chili powder is with dhania dhania powder with chili powder that we call it as association rule mine the next technique is clustering clustering is defined as grouping of objects based on some similarity so now the example is let us consider a child is given with a set of toys like plastic vegetables fruits vehicles etc and you ask the child to group these toys and the case here is the child does not know about vegetables or fruits or vehicles in this scenario when a child is asked to group the items it a child will have a tendency to group based on color because the child may know about colors before knowing about fruits vegetables vehicles etc maybe the shape so based on the similarity color or shape child may group the toys so the clustering 
on a whole is grouping the items based on some similarities that exist within the items without having predefined knowledge on the group label the next one is classification again classification is some kind of grouping but the difference between clustering and classification is that here we know that we have to group the items or the objects based on some known categories or class let us consider the same example of child given with some toys of vegetables fruits and vehicles now the child is thought about vegetables fruits and vehicles and are asked to group the items according to these categories predefined labels vegetables fruits and vehicles now the child will group all the items based on vegetables fruits and vehicles so here classification is something like supervised learning we teach the student we teach the child about the scenario and ask them to do the process whereas in clustering it is unsupervised learning there is no form of teaching or training happens just based on the similarities that exist within the object the grouping happens these are the three major techniques of data mining in a nutshell we have understood what is data mining why data mining and how data mining in the form of process involved in knowledge discovery the basic techniques involved in analyzing the data hope this session that have introduced you about the data mining thank you